Right learners, good day and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking specifically about the formula that you're going to be using that helps us to calculate, um, you know, people who are saving a fixed amount of money at regular intervals. So let's say the person is wanting to save 250 Rand over the next, you know, 24 to 36 months at a particular interest rate. So there has to be a formula to actually work that out. And this is the formula. The formula reads as F equals and F is the amount of money you'll get at the end. And then it's X. We've then got our larger brackets. It'll be one plus I. Now I in this case is the interest rate that you are given by the bank. And the exponent here is N. And that will be the number of payments that you are going to be making. Minus one. And all of that is over I. And what is I again? That's the interest rate that the bank has given you. So let's just go through this again. F is the money that you will get out at the end. Okay. X indicates the amount of money that you are going to be depositing every month. I is the interest rate that's given to you by the bank. And your exponent N over there is the number of payments you make. So in the example, they say to us, calculate how much money Sia would have, um, how much he would have saved after 18 months. If he deposits 250 Rand per month and the bank gave him an interest rate of 1.5%. Okay, so do we have these figures? Yes, we do. We're going to slot it into our formula. So now we're going to say again, F equals. Now, what is X? X is the amount of money we deposit every month. Do we know how much he's depositing? Yes, there it is. It's 250. Now open my larger bracket. Next one. Uh, open bracket one plus I. Do we know what I is? That's the interest rate given by the bank. What is that interest rate? 1,5%. Okay. Then uh, what is the exponent? The exponent in over here is actually for, what do they say? The number of payments you make. Now they're saying to us in the scenario, how much would he get out if he had saved after 18 months? He's giving 250 Rand a month, which means there will be 18 payments. Minus one, and that again would be over the 1.5%. Okay, so now you can see we've taken our figures, we've filled everything in, and now we have to work it out. Okay, so one quick change we're gonna make is just with a percentage, just to make things a little easier. So if equals 250, open up our bracket, one plus, and I'm going to express it differently so that it's just easier to work on the calculator. 0, 0,015. Okay. Everything else remains the same. And we're going to divide that also by the same because 1.5% is actually 0 0.015. So let's, let's take it step by step. If we take this section over here, let's just say F equals... 250, we open that. In our bracket, we're saying 1 plus 0, 0,015, and that gives me uh, 1,015. Guys, I'm taking it slow to the power 18. Okay, now we can do that on our calculator, and that's going to give us an answer of, and I'm going to rub this out so we can actually get there. one comma three zero seven three okay i'm just going to use that and then it's that answer minus one now if we say minus one obviously it's going to subtract that so we're going to end up with an answer of zero comma three zero seven three right that's everything that's been calculated inside that area Remember, we're going to multiply that by 250 and divide it by 0, 0,1, sorry, 0, 0,015. Okay, so let's 
get this going. So it's going to be 250 multiplied by that number 0, 3073. And that's going to give me 76,825. And now I'm going to divide that by 0, 015. And that gives me an answer of 5,121,6. And if we round it off, we're going to make that 5, 2, 2. Okay. And that is our answer. So, yes, Sia would have given 250 Rand a month over 18 months with 1.5% interest. And at the end of the day, at the end of 18 months, he will come out with a total of 5,122 Rand. So we know that our formula, as we saw in the previous example, I'm just going to write it out again. Minus one over I. Okay, we know what these things are. This is our formula when it comes to saving a fixed amount. But what if we have a scenario where we've got old John over here and John needs to get out 7,000 Rand. He needs to get that out in two years. The bank is offering him 2% per month as an interest rate. Okay. The question now is how much must he save each month? Now, using our formula, do we have the money that he will get at the end? Yes, we've got 7,000. X, remember that's the amount of money you need to deposit every month. Does he have that? No. What else do we have? One plus, what is our I? I is the interest rate. So that's two, right? That's our 2%. And it's to the end power. So that's the number of payments we need to make, which is two years. So that's 24 months. So that's 24 payments because they asked how much must he save each month, right? And that is over again, the 2%. So what a, so one of the first things I'm going to do is the following 7,000 equals X. And then I'm going to go one plus and 2% is expressed as 0, 0,02 to the 24th power and 0, 0,02. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work out this calculation, finish that up, and then we'll go to the next level. Okay guys, so now we have a different scenario where we've got John who is looking to get out 7,000 Rand in two years and has been offered 2% per month by the bank. Okay, so we've got these figures, we've got our formula. Let's see what it's going to end up looking like. And we're going to say 7,000 equals X. And then that's one plus 2%. Close that off to 24 minus 1 over, what is it, 2%. Okay, so what do I essentially need to do? I'm, I'm trying to solve for X. Now, my 7,000 is essentially 7,000 over 1. So because I want to solve for X, I'm going to cross multiply. And I'm going to say that's X. 1 plus 2. 2% to 24 minus 1 equals cross multiply there 7000 uh, multiplied by 2%. And now remember, I want to get x. So what do I have to do here? I've got to divide my next line will be me dividing by the same number. Okay, 1 plus 2 2% to the 24 minus 1. So it's going to cancel that out and I'm going to be left with X. <coughs> However, what's going to happen here? I'm going to have to divide on this side as well by the same. 
And that's why it's going to end up being 7,000 times 2% divided by 1 plus 2% to 24 minus 1. And then, guys, you can just work everything out from there. So let's see what it's going to end up looking like. So 7,000 times 2% will work out to 140. And we're dividing that by this, which will be 0, 0,60843. So now we know that x equals that. And now we're just going to do that calculation. And that will give me an answer of x equaling 230.1. Zero. Alright guys, so I hope that helps you understand when it comes to the saving, whether it's you calculating how much he has to save per month, which in this case is 230 rand 10 cents in order to get out 7,000 in two years at 2% interest, or whether you've got the details the other way around.